please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment. And please hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Okay, I'm hitting driver here on the first hole. Uh, this hole is 323 yards. I always hit driver in this hole. That tree to the right there, I'm always aiming just left of it. And I can clear it easily with a driver and there's no trouble behind it. Okay, I'm pretty close to the green here, hitting a lob wedge. Okay, I'm going to chip a little lob wedge here. This is a part of my game that I really have to work on. Uh, I could score much better than what my total score was on this round if I was better from 50 yards in. Uh, I hit this one a little short and right. This was not ideal, a three putt double bogey to start the round. I gotta shake it off quick though, there's a lot more golf to play. This is a face on view of my single plane swing. This is a par three, the pin is about 140 yards. Okay, the bounce that my playing partners were referring to is it kicked left as it hit the right side of the green. Okay, I left that birdie putt short, but that's a great bounce back from a double bogey to start the round. This is a driver on a par five. This is my miss. You'll see that it'll start straight and then it'll have hook spin to the right. right, so right that tree. <laughs> this is my second shot. It's a three wood. I have a really bad lie. It's a lot worse than it looks. This next shot was a nine iron. It was a great shot. I'm on a green with a green in regulation. The camera didn't record my putts, but I did two putt for a par. The second shot didn't record, but what I did is I putt from off the green, made an error in judgment. Now I have this long par putt. That putt was conceded by my playing partners. This is a driver on a par five. I'm really happy with this shot. I think it went about 288 in the left, just in the left rough off the fairway. Okay, I only have about 210 yards in the middle of the green over the water. However, I have a really bad lie. I'm deep in the rough. I'm not gonna go for it to par five. Second shot, I'm gonna lay up with a seven iron, try to leave myself about a hundred in. Uh, this is a really bad lie. I'm probably gonna advance at about a hundred yards. Okay, hitting a sand wedge, 56 degree, 81 to the front, 102 to the back. Okay, long birdie putt. Check out this ball coming towards me from the other side of the green.
Okay, this is 240 to carry the water. This is a perfect drive just short of the green. Again, 50 yards in is my biggest weakness. I left this a little bit shorter than I wanted to. I got to work on this. Wow. Were we all thinking about the water behind it? That putt went a lot further past the hole than the camera angle showed in the last shot. This was very frustrating for me that I ended up bogeying this hole. I'm realizing as this round goes on that my trail forearm is not totally in line with the club shaft like I want it to be in my single plane swing. It's something I'm working real hard on. Yeah. Okay, short right. I should have probably took more club. That last shot was in deep rough and I didn't carry it as far as I wanted to, but here we go again, 50 yards in, I gotta get better. Go. Okay, not a lot of green to work with. I'm gonna take a lob wedge here and try to get it close and get up and down. Thank you. Okay, this went through the fairway on the left a little. Okay, that last shot was an absolute bullet. Best drive of the day. I think it went 288 yards, and it was 30 yards into the rough where there's no way it could have rolled very far. On a different day, that could have been 300 easy. I hit this pitching wedge a lot better than I thought I did. This is one of my biggest frustrations in golf. I hit this shot in the right rough. There's no hazards there. There's no woods there. All that's there is mowed rough that has a lot of grass clippings. And there's even a couple of holes in the ground from where they're digging for irrigation. And I'm wondering if my ball went in there. I never found this ball. I had to wait a while to walk up to the area it was in to try to find my ball because my playing partners were a lot further behind me. And by the time I looked for my ball, I had about a minute to do so because the players that were on the tee box were hitting up on me. I got really frustrated. I took my drop, I took my penalty, uh, but I wish there was like a local rule for amateurs, like a leaf ball rule or something like that. So after taking a penalty stroke, I didn't get the third shot on camera. This is where I ended up. I like to putt whenever I can. I usually get it closer than if I'm chipping. This was a frustrating way to end the round. Taking that penalty stroke really kind of angered me, but oh well, I'll get him next time. Please subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment, and please hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything.